Hi again. For this lesson, we will learn about the linear motion. So, there are two criteria we need to remember for linear motion. The first one, the object must be moving in a straight line. And the second, the moving object must be in constant acceleration. So, there are four formulae which you need to remember for linear motion, which is the first one, V equals to U plus AT. Second one, S equals to half U plus V times T. Third one, S equals to UT plus half AT square. And the fourth one, V square equals to U square plus 2AS. And remember, these four formulae are extremely important for calculation purposes. So make sure you remember it as good as possible. So, what are these letters represent? For A, it represents acceleration. For V, it represents final velocity. For U, it represents initial velocity. S, it represents displacement. And T, represents time. So, let us make, uh, move to examples. The first question, a particle is moving in a straight line from O to A with a constant acceleration of 2 meter per second square. Its velocity at A is 30 meter per second and it takes 15 seconds to travel from O to A. Find A, the particle's velocity at O and B, the distance OA. So, let us start with part A first. So, analyze the question. You can see that they say acceleration is 2 meter per second square and the V final velocity at A is 30 meter per second and the time taken for the particle to travel from O to A is 15 seconds and they ask for the velocity at O which is the initial velocity. So from all this information, you can use the formula V equals to U plus AT to find the value of U. So substitute the, all the values, 30 equals to U plus 2 times 15 and you can get U equals to 0 meter per second. So every time when you need to do this type of calculation, make sure you list out all the information you have and then choose the best formulas to calculate the answer you need. Okay, now let's move to part B. The distance OA, which is the displacement traveled by the particle. So again, we list out everything A equals to 2, V equals to 30, T equals to 15, and U, we found it from part A, which is 0. And now, you need to find the S displacement. So after you list out all the criteria, you choose the best formula. Uh, in this case, we can use two formula. Uh, the first one, v square equals to u square plus 2as. And the second one, s equals to ut plus half at square. So it's up to you whether you want to use the first formula or the second formula. But for today, I'm going to use the first formula, which is v square equals to u square plus 2as. So Let's substitute the value 30 square equals to 0 square plus 2 times 2 s. So simple math calculation, you get s equals to 225 meter. Now let's move to a bit more advanced example. A car starts from rest and accelerates at a constant acceleration of 3 meter per second square for 10 seconds. The car then travels at a constant velocity for 5 seconds, the brakes are then applied and then the car stops in 5 seconds. What is the total distance traveled by the car? So from the question, the first thing you need to analyze, there are three stages of motion which you can see. The first one is at a constant acceleration for 10 seconds. So the first stage is the 0 to 10 seconds period and then they say the car then travels at a constant velocity for 5 seconds. So the second stage will be 10 to 15 seconds. And the third stage, you can see they say uh, car stops in 5 seconds. So the third stage will be the period between 15 and 20 seconds. So for the first stage, let's list out all the information you have. Since they say the car starts from rest, so the initial velocity will be 0 and then 
constant acceleration of 3, so the A equals to 3 meter per second square. And the time period is 10 seconds. So they need to find the displacement traveled by the car. So let's label this as S1. And again, you need to know, since there are three stages, so the final velocity for the first stages equals to the initial velocity of second stage. So thus, the final velocity of second stage equals to initial velocity of third stage. So we need to find the V equals to V1. Just assume the V for the first stage. And then for second stage, the initial velocity is equals to the final velocity of first stage, which is V1. And then constant velocity means the car is not accelerating. So the acceleration is 0 meter per second square. And the time period is 5 seconds. Again, we need to find the displacement traveled between this period of time. And also, we need to find the final velocity of this period of time which also equals to the initial velocity of this period of time since there are no acceleration so equals to v1 then for the third stage the initial velocity equals to v1 which is also the final velocity of second stage and the first stage and then the time for this period of time it's uh, 5 seconds and the final velocity which is 0 meter per second since they say the car stops so we need to find the S3, which is the displacement traveled between this period of time. Now, let's calculate it part by part. For the first stage, 0 to 10 seconds, we can use the formula S equals to UT plus half AT square to find the S1. So, substitute the value from the table above here. Uh, you can get 0 times 10 seconds and plus half times 3 times 10 square. So, you can get the S1 value is 150 meter. Don't forget, we need to find the V1. So, you can use the formula V equals to U plus AT. And then again, we substitute the value V1 equals to 0 plus 3 times 10. And you can get the value of V1, 30 meter per second. Now, for the second stage, 10 to 15 seconds, we can use the formula S equals to UT plus half AT square. And so the S2 is 30 times 5 plus half times 0 plus 5 square. So we can get the S2 value as 150 meter. Now for the third stage, which is the 15 to 20 second, so we can ch check the information. The most suitable formula for you to use is S equals to half times u plus v times t. So the S3, we substitute the value 1 over 2 times 30 plus 0 times 5 and you can get the S3 as 75 meter. So the total displacement travel between these three stages will be S1 plus S2 plus S3 which equals to 150 plus 150 and plus 75. So you can get the final answer, 375. So that's all for linear motion. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.